Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Got a request from an uh, individual that he says, I have this formula, it's an indirect formula, and uh, now when I copy this across the spreadsheet, he wants this section here, the ampersand A1, needs to change to B1, C1, etc. as he copies it across his columns. So what this user is doing is using the indirect function to return the uh, concatenation of the sheet name, uh, the exclamation point which identifies the sheet name, and the cell reference. And as he moves it, he wants it to change to uh, accommodate the various uh, columns that he it copies it across to. The problem is by putting the cell reference A1 in quotes, that makes it static. So every time he copies it across columns, it just remains as A1. So we're going to have to use the address, row, and column functions within the indirect formula in order to accomplish this. So you see we have the uh, sheet names identified here and you can see down here we have department XYZ and within there we have three rows of data all numbers and then we have department MMP which is another sheet name and here these are all letters in rows one two and three so we want to extract that data and populate this area with those so we're going to start with using the uh, indirect function and you can see indirect returns the reference specified by a text string tab over and enter first our sheet name and since we're going to copy it across we want to lock the A but we don't want to lock the row number so when we copy it down it selects the proper uh, sheet name within that row so I'm going to hit the F4 one two three times to lock the A and then I want to concatenate that with the exclamation point to identify that as a sheet name and then we're going to concatenate that with the address function. Now the address creates a cell references text given specified row and column numbers. Tab on that. Now we have to do our row and column numbers. Now we could be, should be able to just do row and put the empty brackets, whoops, put the uh, empty brackets or parentheses in because actually in row as you look here the reference is in square brackets it's technically it's an uh, optional so if we're in the correct row we can just do that and it'll give us the appropriate row number now for column we're going to do column function and the column returns the column number of a reference now here since the column we are in column E but we want the data from column A in the other sheets we're going to have to put some kind of reference in there so I'm going to put A1 to identify that and then comma and then the last part of our address function is is it an absolute cell reference, absolute row, relative column, relative row, absolute column, or relative? And we're just going to make it relative. So we'll put a number four there, close that parentheses, and close that parentheses for the indirect, hit enter, and it pulled the number five. So if we go to department XYZ tab and look in the first cell, A1, we get a five. So that looks correct. If I drag that across, so far it looks good and if I drag it down to that I have 5, 50, 90 through 21, 82, 154 5, 50, 90, 21, 82, 154 looks perfect so I should be able to drag it down the rest of the way up oh, that doesn't work I got all zeros when I should have gotten A through double A well the reason is if you recall when we did the row number <coughs> We said if we leave that blank, because it's optional, it's going to identify this as row 1, 2, 3, which means it identified this as row 4, 5, and 6, which isn't what we want because in department MNP, it's in row 1, 2, 3. So in this section, we're actually going to have to add a reference to identify it as row 1, and now that should work perfectly and we have all our data all the way through pulled just like we want it to be now let's just walk through one of these and see how Excel is um, 
functioning within that formula. So we're going to go to the formulas tab and go to evaluate formula and just follow this through to see what happens. So the first thing that Excel wants to do is identify or resolve what exclamation or dollar sign A4 is. So I hit the evaluate button and that pulls in department MNP which is correct because it took A1 and, and made that department MNP. Now it wants to concatenate that with an exclamation point which will identify that as a sheet name. So I hit evaluate, now we have department MNP exclamation point. Now that needs to be concatenated with the address. So within the address, the first thing it's going to do is identify what row B1 is. What row is that? Well that's row 1. What's column B4? That's column 2, and 4, as identified down here, means it's a relative cell reference. So I click that, it identifies that as B1, concatenates that with the name, department MNP, exclamation point B1. In the indirect function, that will be the letter B, and that's what we have here, the letter B. And there you have it, using the indirect address row and column functions, to extract the data from different worksheets, pulling in the sheet name from here and using the address function and the row and column to pull in the correct address. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.